Now today, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. I always get inquiries, you know, I always get criticisms too about this particular topic. Do intending parents or intending mothers get to breastfeed their children or their babies after a surrogate mother must have carried her and given birth to her? Well, the answer is yes. I know a lot of people are surprised, like, ah, how, how is a, a woman that did not carry pregnancy able to breastfeed? Yes, a woman that did not go through the stages of pregnancy is able to breastfeed because breastfeeding is not brought about by the uterus or the womb or anything, any of those parts of our body. The hormones that are responsible for breastfeeding is secreted by the brain. What do I mean? What I mean is that every woman, as long as you have a breast and you have a brain, you are able to breastfeed. I know I'm getting you all confused. Okay, so I'll break it down. Now, the major hormones that are responsible for breastfeeding is oxytocin and prolactin. And those um, hormones are secreted from the brain to the breast. Now, when a, 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 a woman brings a child to her breast and the child suckles the breast regularly and very hard, whether she's pregnant, whether she's never been pregnant, whether she's post-menopause, she will secrete breast milk. Yes. So most times we advise our intending parents to, you know, go through some kind of hormone buildup. Okay, because the estrogen and the um, progesterone, which are hormones that are usually present in pregnant women that also contribute to, um, you know, the breast milk and every other thing that, you know, comes with it, is, can also be supplemented. Yes, you can get those hormones from supplements. You can get those hormones from food. You can get those hormones from medication, you know, and then when those hormones are, are present and are very, very active in your body, you will be able to produce adequate breast milk for your baby. Now, when the, when the baby is put on the breast and the baby suckles the breast very hard, okay the milk is being secreted and then moved from the breast duct to the areola that's the nipple and then it comes out and the baby is able to suckle now you know in most cases um some pregnant women or rather some some new mothers are not able to breastfeed yes a mother can give birth to a child and for two days she doesn't have any breast milk coming out of her breast i also had that experience with my first child i think the, the the reason for that is because those hormones are not very dominant in the body and they need you know the breast milk needs to be stimulated and there are various means um you know that that can be done and that can be achieved you can also use breast pumps with the use of breast pumps breast milk can be stimulated and then you know it becomes a regular thing and it becomes very adequate when you also put the baby on the breast and he or she suckles it every time also for um women that had their babies through surrogacy and probably don't want to go into um supplementation of um, the hormones but they want to bond with their child because it's the, the most important you know reason for breastfeeding to me is the bonding okay i understand that breast milk is very important for babies for the formulation of their brain for the formulation of their immune system to make them strong but you know we also have children that take formula and they are strong and they're intelligent and you know they are also um they also have good immunity you know so for me the most important part of breastfeeding is that bonding you know that bonding between mother and child so um, for the intended mothers that don't want to supplement the hormones or don't want to, you know, start going through all the, you know, um, stimulation and all that, they can have there's something they, they call a breastfeeding bag that, um, you know, those, you can get the surrogate mother to express breast milk and then they pass it through the, 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 the breastfeeding bag and the child gets it. Um, from the mother, you know, the mother carries the child and then the breast milk is going into his or her mouth. We have very, I, really, I, I don't see any reason why an intended mother should not breastfeed because we also have, you know, regular foods like we have lactation cookies, we have, um, you know, different kind of things that mothers can eat 
and it will help to stimulate the breast milk and i think it's also a thing of joy it also gives you know that kind of you know gratification that kind of satisfying feeling like you're breastfeeding your child your child is taking something from you you know it's not too late to start your journey surrogacy will not stop your child from being properly breastfed by you and at mid surrogate mothers we have breastfeeding doctors that will you know lecture you and will help you with the adequate medication and things that you need to make sure that your breast milk um, comes out properly also uh, when um, um, a couple is going through the surrogacy um, process the woman is also pregnant like the intended mother is also pregnant because you know that somebody is carrying your child remember it is your genes it's your eggs and your husband's sperm so the whole process has you adequately involved so you can use that period to build yourself you can use that period to prepare for motherhood because you have to prepare for motherhood so you can also boost your estrogen and your progesterone levels that will also help the breastfeeding process to come easily and nicely without any rigorous stimulation so you see um these are the methods that you know we can use to breastfeed when having a child through surrogacy so you see i mean it's a win-win surrogacy is a blessing there is no there i do not see any downsides honestly i do not see any downside except probably for the cost implication for those that cannot afford it but apart from that it is a win-win you're having a child that is going to have your genes. You're having a child that is completely yours. The only difference is that another woman's womb was used to carry the child. Let's call it like an incubator that was used to warm up the child and just carry the child for the nine months. But every process, everything has you actively involved. Okay. So guys, if you want to know more about this topic, or any other topic or if you have any questions if you want to book a consultation if you have any any problems that has to do with reproduct reproduction if you have any infertility issues the best place is at meet surrogate mothers remember we follow you through the process from start to finish okay we look forward to seeing you and we look forward to having you smile with your babies in your arms okay so you can send a dm to at me surrogate mothers on instagram or you can send a whatsapp message to the number i'm going to drop below and we will have you in in no time thank you all for listening god bless you